All right, next stop in uh, loser side, we have Koopo and Carnage. These two are no strangers to each other. Uh, Koopo and Carnage, both of them are from the NorCal area, and they've been playing each other many years, both offline and online. They were regulars in the old Facebook group back when that group was super active. So I'm really curious to see who comes out on top. Um, again, both these players are very adept with their teams. Uh, Koopo, I owe a lot to one of the Alyssa and Sakura matchup from him. And obviously Carnage plays numerous characters, but for the last few months, he's been sticking with Vega and Brian. Like I've seen a Kazuya, I've seen a Steve, I've seen a Jin. We'll see if Koopo forces him to dig deep, but for now, seems like Carnage has Koopo scouted. I really liked uh, that neutral jump to destroy Alyssa's dash in, the boots. There's a boot and I think hard boot is the other version. Like one of them um, has her dash forward with no chainsaws out. The other one has her dash forward with chainsaws out. And her options depend on which version of the boot she uses, the punch version or kick version. So far, Carnage is playing this matchup magnificently. Look at this. All right, Koopa finally got him. Now it's Sakura's turn to bring the pain. Sakura is just deadly in the corner. So Carnage better be careful. Very smart for Carnage to get out of there before uh, Sakura started her whole shimmy nonsense. Because uh, that uh, big heavy kick, that is a launcher. So Sakura gets some pretty nasty juggles in the corner if she can hit them with that uh, close heavy kick to send the stratosphere. Sakura's crouch medium kick is one of her best pokes. Um, it can definitely uh, has some good range to it. Carnage held on though. Time over goes to him. Look at that, still going. And Alyssa is still uh, not quite at advantage, but in a good position when she ends that whole uh, boot to EX boot string. Carnage catching that Oki roll. And now it is Kubo stuck in the corner. And Brian has his own nasty corner game. His buttons reach very far, particularly good in the corner where they can't get uh, pushed out. All right, that was creative, I like that. Carnage gets away using Cradle Star as uh, some kind of a YOLO tactic. It doesn't really have invincibility that would have helped her if uh, Brian blocked. All she has up Cradle Star is that uh, diving punch follow up which is super unsafe on block. But at the same time, you can tell Koopa's really thinking about uh, attacking Sakura. So either way, if I think Koopa's deal was, oh, look at that. All right. I didn't think Carnage was, um, I didn't think Carnage was close enough to get the cosmic heal, but there you go. Good job using the uh, crumple status of counter hit far heavy punch with Vega, AKA the crush counter. For those who don't know, Crush Counter is kind of a ridge day in this game for the Street Fighter universe. A lot of characters, if not every character, no, not every character, most characters have some kind of specialized stun off counter hit versions of their moves. And as you saw for Vega, it is his far standing heavy punch. And it caused that long crumple stun that allowed Vega to get that follow up with the cosmic key on the juggle afterwards to bring in Brian and finish the job in that first game. Good stuff, my man. Finish off Koopo that first game. Carnage right now up one nothing. <laughs> Look at all this Carnage. Carnage has gotten pretty close to winning a lot of these things. So it should be interesting to see if he can keep it up. Because this tournament has been loaded. Like, top to bottom. Like, I've talked to some players who are in this thing. And they said if they are on the other side of the bracket, they might have gotten as far as they did. Because it has just been killer after killer. I keep in mind, people on both sides of the bracket have said that. So if you are getting this far in tournament, you have earned it. <laughs> Look at that. Stand like kick. I keep telling it's 
is Live Street Fighter 5 as well. Stand Like It for Vega is such an underrated button. Everyone's always thinking, oh, Crouch Jabs, he has the claw. That, nah, in uh, pretty much all the Dimps era Street Fighter games, Stand Like Kick is super good for Vega. And as you saw, like, how far it was reaching. <laughs> Look at that. Well, let me talk, talk about Vega. Let's talk about Brian for a bit. So what Brian did is after he got the knockdown, he used unblockable knee to just completely destroy Alyssa's guard. Now, it only works on standing guarding opponents. So he's creating a high low game situation based off not just his overhead and uh, his stand low, the uh, stand light kick, but also with the knee to kind of catch them off guard if they're uh, stand guarding from a certain ways away where they not, might not be expecting a hit to come. So that's another layer of mix up that Brian applies when he's trying to get people on wake up. Look at this. All right, here we go. Da, da, da. Keep it simple. So, for mid-kick rush, he only has two true combos off. Ah, look at that! Brian wanted to get the EX knee most likely, but the boot stopped him in his tracks. I think Carnage was expecting the boot to destroy... was expecting his knee to destroy the boot. But it was not to be. Meanwhile, Alyssa applies a boot of her own, sweeping Brian and bringing in Sakura. And if Brian's not careful, there'll be some boots on his name, too. Nice, good air to air. Oh no! <laughs> okay, so we talked about the true strings of mid kick rush. That uppercut is not a true string. I think Koopa was thinking Karns was gonna go low because um, the low is guaranteed on that hit, but instead, Koopa got reset. And Carnage now up 2 0. And as a reminder, it's first three all the way through. If Carnage wins his next game, he'll be uh, sending Koopo out of this tournament with an 0-3 hole in his chest, and that's gonna stink. So let's see if Koopo can fire back. And as a reminder, if you have not done so, please check out the Street Fighter Cross Tekken Complete dossier. Um, it has complete breakdowns of every single character in this game. And it has been fact-checked multiple times by players currently on its 5th edition. This is the Cross Tekken Bible. So if you are one of those old school players who talk about how great the CBS2 Bible is and how great those old uh, Brady game Bibles are from back in the day, please check out the complete dossier. I think you will appreciate what it has to offer. All right, next slide. As a reminder, Carnage is one game away from moving forward to loser semis because it's gonna be first three all the way through this tournament, as I mentioned earlier. That's a Discord specialty. Um, we used to do it the normal first to two and then uh, first three finals way, like I would offline, but we had a lot of complaints at the time we started these things. People wanted more out of their set because it wasn't often they played everyone like this. So the Discord admin Salt Levels Max said first three all the way through, and so far it's been well received. Um, that being said, we'll see if that uh that proves to be fatal for Carnage, as he would have moved forward in a typical offline play, being that I always run uh, first to two and then first three finals. Koopa is a very capable player, and as you're seeing, he is making some really good adaptations. You saw earlier how he called out uh, Brian's CADC stuff. Um, as a reminder, and we'll talk about this more when Brian gets back in, um, a lot of these characters can uh, kind of, well, not kind of, actually, it's called a... Uh, CADC stands for Charge Attack Dash Cancel, like an FADC thing, only don't spend meter for it. And what makes Brian so... Ooh, look at that, babe, it didn't get a follow-up that he wanted. Come on. Nice, look at that. Picture perfect anti air light fisherman hook. So, yeah, you want to keep Sakura there. There is no point tagging list at that point, other than if she wanted to get uh, punished pretty bad. That's going to suck. Is that dead? Not quite. It's close, though. Looking dire. And time is running out. Vega tried to go in, maybe with a slide, but stand light punch from the destroy form stops at dead in his tracks. 
say, if Sakura tagged Alyssa in Brawl in that situation, even though she was low on health, Alyssa would have been punished a big way, and that would have not helped Koopa at all. So, smart of him to throw up that big fireball Sakura to keep Karja on defensive. Oh, you got stuffed? Okay! Maybe Carnage was thinking like an empty jump situation, but that neutral heavy punch hit way deeper than he was expecting. This has been all Carnage. Is... No, it's all Carnage getting destroyed. Koopo decimates Carnage and puts himself back on the board. It is now 2-1 Carnage. No 3-0 for you, my friend. Glorious. I'd love to see it. It is not over yet. For those who forgot, Koopo has gotten top three in the past at one of these Pandora's Mayhem tournaments. And now that he's got himself on the board, he could easily take the next two. We'll see if Carnage lets him. Okay. All right. Let's see what happens. <laughs> I'll skin you. Are you ready to die painfully? Vega starting things off, not the worst idea. So Vega needs to be cautious on how he approaches. This is very smart of Karn to try to do it this way. You see how those fist missiles angle like that? If Vega tries to wall jump too much or he wall jumps too high, that fist missile will not only catch him, but Alyssa can use her her boot ability to dash in and get a follow-up off of the fist missile if it hits his anti-air. Nice. Good job waiting. That stand heavy punch destroy form is full air crush, but it did not come out in time when Vega landed behind Alyssa. She could not correct herself, and thus Vega got the free punish. Brian's in the corner, but not much to worry about here. You see Carter trying to test out, use a cross light punch to kind of Keep us from going in too free, but that's not a good idea when the sword moves up because the chainsaws will beat that move for sure. Carnage wanted the fancy stuff of Vega. Koopa going in. Good alpha counter. Uh huh. Right, Sakura stuck in the corner. Oh! <laughs> okay. Okay, I see you. Vega's jump heavy punch, as I might have said several times before. Hits ridiculously high. Like, at the height of his jump, that claw might actually hit the opponent even if they're crouching. Super low hitbox. It's also, it's just a big hit, not just low. I've seen it used as an air to air really effectively in the past as well. Smart of Koopa to do that. So you can reversal through uh, the enders of the mid kick rush, and that's exactly what Lissa did. Use the armor to stop the sweep. Nice, got him again. The mix. Um, the stand medium kick, stand medium punch is regular. Then you have to block the next two hits overhead. So what Kubo does to create a high low mix, he just does the stand medium kick by itself, doesn't do anything, and then does a crouching attack to hit them low when they're expecting an overhead. Right, more of those cool soccer combos. Look at this, it keeps going and going. Carefully walking forward. Again, Soccer wants the shimmy stuff. Good throw break. Nice, look at that. Empty jump low. And Koopo's still in this. If he can take this next round, he will have completely destroyed Carnage's lead. And then Carnage has to fight in a uh, a final game. And I think with the momentum, if Koopa could take this, he could probably take that final game. So let's see if Carnage can get his bearings back and uh, prevent the choke out from happening. Very nice. Yeah, crouch medium punch, crouch medium kick with Vega is a really good button to confirm with because it links easily into crouch medium punch from a uh, pretty far ways away. Just because crouch medium punch reaches so far away. So you saw it right there, the uh, crouch medium kick he confirmed into the boost. Trying to get some kind of momentum back, but 
Not gonna be like this. Vega's in no rush to kind of uh, pressure Alyssa right here. Good alpha counter. Momentum once again gone. EX boot. You see Vega doing a lot of neutral jumps. Oh no! What a punish! That's dead! Carnage moves forward to loser semis 3 to 1. Good stuff, my man. Who can't fight seriously. Koopo, as always, it was a pleasure to see your Alyssa and Sakura in action. I mean, we've been playing a long time, haven't we? But alas, I hope to see you in 2021 for your tournament run is over and Carnage advances to loser semis.